The couple that Instagrams together stays together. And in like fashion, the internet is celebrating 25 year old Paula Pantone and 24 year old Gabriel Martinez, their boyfriend and girlfriend. And they take beautiful Instagram photos together, mostly of Paula. So let's take a look at some of her photos. Ooh. Wow. And uh, then let's see how uh, she got that photo. That's Damn, there you go. The magic is gone. Look at this guy. He's on the ground getting the right angle. Let's see another one from Paula. That's beautiful. So they, they took these photos in the British version. How do you even take Islands. that picture? I want to know how do you take that well, picture? There <gasps> you go. So this is what set the internet ablaze. It was this photo right here of Gabriel hanging off of a boat. This is off of Peter Island. And uh, you know, he was just trying to get the good shot. She said that uh, he he's it. no photographer, but he takes great pictures. This went viral on Twitter. So he actually only has three photos that he has posted to his Instagram account. But um, this photo took off because a Twitter user at uh, King Meek shared the photo saying, when I zoomed in on homeboy's legs, I started dying because that's real dedication to make sure your girl has a great picture. We all need someone like that in our lives when she spoke to BuzzFeed News. So King Meek sent this couple into the internet stratosphere for, I guess, g goals. Yeah. Sure. And this is actually, look, some people might say that this is sort of petty, frivolous, but- No, I, I disagree. Okay, yeah, I think so too. I like, think this needs to be the new trend. What do you mean? We, we did that story on Planted the other day. Let's do a trend where you take pictures of the people that are taking the pictures of these people <laughs> that put up the pictures. Show yourself. Yeah. I, yeah. I bet it's already been Look, done, but. I know that it can be a little trite when someone says that uh, they, you know, when you ask them, like, oh, what do you do? I'm a photographer. And really, they're an Instagrammer or something. Sure, that can sound a little trite. I recently saw Ingrid Goes West. That's a huge plot point in that movie. That said, there is a skill to taking a good Instagram photo. So we should, you know, I like that this guy sort of got celebrated for doing just that for his girlfriend. And it's something that they both seem to enjoy. Um, and it wasn't like he was saying, I hate. I hate taking these photos of stupid Paula yeah. and I keep having to take them and she made me hang off of a boat. This is a mutual enjoyment thing that they like to do and it looks awesome. It is, good shots. it is, that said, they sound like the most annoying couple. Why? In the you history just, of couples. You like, just said they, they go and this do this stuff. Imagine you're in that group of friends and there's like that one girl that's just like, come on, I, I just want this picture taken of me. Everyone stop what you're doing. Like, let's take this picture. And then we for, don't know for the next 10, 15 minutes, like this couple is trying to take a fucking picture while the guy is hanging off from a boat <laughs> and she's trying to lay in the water. What are the rest of the friends they're doing? Like, we're late for lunch. They're, really they're, they're, they're trying to, to have moving. fun on vacation and they're they're just sitting there like waiting, watching this. Maybe. That's their form of entertainment. Okay, where are you? Where, don't, you, okay, you are all don't, over the map with your feelings don't, here. Don't act like you wouldn't be so annoyed if you were on vacation with a group of friends and two of the people you were going with pulled this shit. All right. You would be making fun of them the whole time. This is what I will say. I Maybe I would. But I think there's maybe, a huge- Maybe, may, Grace, maybe you would be very polite about it. You'd be very polite about I it. I might throw a little side jabs here and there. Okay, yeah. But what I would say is that taking good photos and you know a photo that really captures a moment is one thing. And I think that's totally separate than people that let those photos go to their head and had, have an elevated self, sense of self, an inflated sense of importance just because they have pretty Instagram photos. I think that is so different than just taking photos to document a moment that you wanna have and having a significant other that's like, oh, this would mean so much to Paola to have this beautiful moment where she's floating in the sea off of Peter Island in the British Virgin Islands. Like this is a beautiful thing to have. Have, but if I were to find out that Paula refers to herself as an influencer, then game oh, that, on. That's, like, the, no. that's the line. That's, that's the, the line. line because it's one thing to take photos. Good composition in a photograph is, I think that's that is something that we should celebrate. I, I don't know if I would call them like a photographer. I think Do you know how many followers she has on Instagram. I don't know, but you can look that up real hot and quick. And I think that you know you see the the internet. Um, you see the internet respond in kind. A lot of times you wish yeah. you had someone to take a good photo of you. She has 15,000 followers. She considers herself an influencer. No, she does. Especially does she say that? Especially after this this whole We don't scandal. know that. Guys, uh, we would like to hear from you in the comments section below. What do you think of uh, just this Instagram couple taking photos of each other? Well, really taking photos of Paola, making Paola look good, having the time of their lives. You think yay, you think nay. Is Grace an influencer? Shut. Because that's how she likes to I think of don't. herself. I don't. 
I don't. Uh, what's another question? Oh, what is uh, what is a link that you have gone to to capture a good Instagram photo, or are you not interested in that at all? Tell us how much of an influencer Amir is. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, and we will see you next time on Pop Trigger.